This is um, also kind of interesting. So through two weeks, no quarterback has had more passes dropped than Deshaun Watson, eight, uh, leading the league um, at top of that. So um, let me ask you this. What do you think uh, of Deshaun Watson in week two? And if the Browns get that version of Deshaun Watson the rest of the year, what, what does their season look like? What does their record look like? Well, I've talked with you on this show many times in the off season that in the regular season, Deshaun Watson just doesn't have to be the old elite leading the NFL in passing yardage for the Browns to make the playoffs. He just needs to be average to above average. I would say the Jaguars game was average to above average, especially the first half was above average. Second half was you know, I would say average because he didn't turn the ball over. He had one major blunder in that game, and obviously, you know, it could have cost him the game. It was like the last play on offense when he threw the pass, went incomplete and gave the Jaguars plenty of time to go down the field. If he had just taken the sack even, um, they would have had 40 seconds less, and that would have been almost impossible. But other than that, he played well enough for them to win, and that's the most important characteristic is winning the game. So their record, I picked them to be 10-7 and seven, uh, and make the playoffs, and I, I expected him to play above average this year. I mean, if there's any consolation, last year in the Bengals game to open the season, the defense really was the story. Joe Burrow wasn't ready that you know, you could tell his leg was bothering him, and the defense really smothered the Bengals and set up the offense. Second game was a debacle in Pittsburgh. You know, Watson threw that pick six on the first play, even though it might not have been his fault because it went off Harrison Bryant. But <clears throat> that was a bad game. He fumbled late, cost him the game. But then he played his best game, you know, up until that point in the third game against the Titans at home. Um, if you remember, he, he ended up throwing for 289 yards and two touchdowns. He had a 40-yard uh, touchdown called back because they blew a whistle on, ironically, Amari Cooper stepping out of bounds. Replay showed he definitely didn't step out of bounds. So he would have had over 300 yards, 329 yards, and three touchdowns. We all know that he hurt his shoulder in that game and stayed in, didn't really tell anybody. And that kind of set off a string of uh, crazy play the rest of the year, which ultimately put him on injury reserve and had shoulder surgery. So um, <clears throat> he has notoriously been a slow starter. So if he could improve even from the Jaguars game and put a full game together this week against a very beatable Giants team, I think, you know, that could be enough to get him on track to continue to play that way.